The terrorist who brutally murdered the Yaniv brothers a week and a half ago was finally brought to justice during a shootout with the IDF in Janine. Hamas tries and fails to fire a rocket into Israel, and the Syrian media blames Israel for an airstrike targeting the Aleppo airport. All this and more on today's show. I'm Justin, and this is The Israel Guys. Hello and welcome to The Israel Guys, where we believe that in a world of Jew hatred and anti-Israel propaganda, you should have a direct connection to the land and people of Israel. Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm Justin Hilton, your host for today. First off, make sure to hit subscribe, hit that little button right below the video or on our channel that says subscribe. It really helps us out. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the episodes of The Israel Guys. We're bringing you five videos a week, Monday through video. Monday through Friday. Also, make sure to like and share our content so we can reach as many people as possible with the true and authentic stories of Israel. Also, make sure to follow us on social media. We're on all the major platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So we're going to jump in to the news for this morning. The There was a huge operation in Janine by the IDF yesterday afternoon. So this happens quite often. The IDF goes into Janine or Nablus or one of the Arab towns around the area, like terrorist hotbeds. They go in to arrest terrorists. So they went into Janine yesterday afternoon to arrest wanted terrorists. And as usual, the terrorists opened fire on the IDF and there was a huge gun battle that ensued. And six terrorists were killed in this battle that happened Thankfully, including the one who killed the two brothers, Halel and Yagel Yaniv from Halbracha, who were killed, brutally killed just a week and a half ago. Now, what is crazy about this terrorist is he was released from Israeli prisons. I'm sure you probably didn't know this. He was released from Israeli prisons just four months ago. First off, the reason he was arrested in the first place is because he was planning shooting attacks against the IDF. Also, he was arming his sons with submachine guns. Uh, also, he was from the Oscar refugee camp in Nablus. This is from Arut Sheva here. They have a quote about the terrorist. This man, we don't say his name. Do not say the name of terrorist on this um, channel. Can't give them that much credit. So this man, uh, he served under three years before being released in late 2022, despite warnings from intel and security officials who noted that he had also planned attacks on Israeli civilians, including in Huwara. So this man, he was planning lots of attacks. First off, he was arrested. Then he was put in prison for about three years. And despite warnings from internal security, from the different intel agencies, um, the government decided to release him under the disastrous government of Yair Lapid and uh, Naftali Bennett, you know, all that. Now, we don't like to celebrate the death of anyone. We're not like the Palestinians who celebrate when they murder Jews, who hand out candy in the streets and saying, yay, we killed another person. But we do thank God that evil was taken out of the world and that this man who was killed, this terrorist, will not be committing any more terror attacks against Jews. So we thank God that he was taken out. Also, yesterday just happened to be the holiday of Purim. Literally, this is what the Jews are celebrating. They're celebrating their victory over evil. They're um, triumphing over the evilness. And this is exactly what happened. The Jews triumphed. They took out this evil terrorist. So a little bit more on what happened happened when the IDF went in, according to Palestinian Authority reports. First of all, a force of undercover agents entered the refugee camp the uh, using a truck and surrounded a building war, where the wanted terrorists were currently holed up. The huge gun battle happened. The IDF shot a missile at the house to clear out the terrorists. Apparently, they also brought in a helicopter. Uh, residents in Janine claimed that they shot a missile from the helicopter, but that wasn't verified. Uh, according to the Palestinian media, six people were killed and seven were injured. Also, you can see in this video, the Arabs shot down an IDF drone, either that or it crashed. Uh, and you can see the Arabs here dancing, 
holding up this drone. Two IDF soldiers were lightly injured in this operation, but thankfully no one was killed. No IDF were killed here. Also, at the same time as this operation was happening in Janine, the IDF also went into Nablus to carry out arrests. Um, several people were arrested, including two of the terrorists' sons. The terrorist who was killed, the terrorist who killed the two brothers a week and a half ago, two of his sons were arrested. The IDF said, uh, quote, in Nablus, IDF soldiers apprehended two sons of the neutralized operative who were suspected of aiding and planning and executing the attack. Both were transferred to security forces for further questioning. In a debrief meeting about the operation in Janine with some of the top IDF commanders, uh, Bibi Netanyahu said this, quote, This was an exceptional intelligence and operational achievement. This is already the fourth action that you have carried out recently in the heart of the terrorist bases located in refugee camps. These operations are of immense value. By your actions, you are sending a clear and sharp message to all who are thinking about murdering an Israeli citizen. We will settle accounts with you. Did you know that over 1.8 million people in Israel live below the poverty line? That's a shocking 22% of the population struggling to provide for themselves and their children. But there's hope. You have the power to change this. Donating a food bag with Israel 365 provides a week's worth of essential groceries to an Israeli family in need. When you donate, your food bags are delivered late at night in regular shopping bags, making it look like a regular supermarket delivery. This ensures that the recipients can maintain their dignity during difficult financial times. By delivering the food bags in a discreet and dignified way, you are not only providing essential groceries to a family in need, but also helping them maintain their self-worth and autonomy. Your donation makes a real difference. Just click the link below to find out more. Join us today and make a life-changing impact on families in Israel. Your donation will provide crucial support during tough times while prioritizing dignity and autonomy for those in need. Together, we can work towards eradicating poverty in Israel and supporting the Jewish people. Click on the link in the description below to help an Israeli family in need today. In response to this operation in Janine, at least that's what they're saying, Hamas fired a rocket from Gaza at Israel. Sirens were sounded in kibbutz near Am, which is really close to the Gaza border, around 3 a.m. last night or this morning. Uh, the IDF said on Twitter, Quote, a launch was detected, which apparently fell within the territories of the Gaza Strip. A warning was activated in the application in open areas only. So Hamas, they tried to fire a rocket at Israel, mal malfunctioned or something, landed within their own territory. Thankfully, no Israeli civilians were hurt. No one was injured, thank God, in this rocket attack. But just this afternoon, there was a bombing attack carried out near the Gaza border. I'm telling you, there, there's been a lot going on past just the past two days here in Israel. Lots of little attacks happening. Palestinian Arab terrorists detonated a bomb next to a passing Israeli military bulldozer along the frontier just this afternoon. The bomb was set off while the bulldozer was carrying out routine maintenance work on the border fence along the southern Israel-Gaza border. Apparently, an army tank opened fire to cover the bulldozer's retreat. The IDF said this on Twitter. They said, quote, A short time ago, a report was received about the activation of an explosive device near an IDF force in the security zone at the border of the Gaza Strip during an IDF force activity west of the fence. No casualties to our forces. IDF tanks attacked a military position of the terrorist organization Hamas in the southern Gaza Strip. The details of the event are under review. Thankfully, it looks like no one was killed or even injured in this bombing attack that several Palestinian Arab terrorists carried out. So, there was an airstrike on the Aleppo airport, and according to Syrian state media, this was done by Israel. According to Sana News, they said this, quote, at 2.07 a.m. on Tuesday, the Israeli enemy carried out an aerial act of aggression from the direction of the Mediterranean, west of Latakia, 
targeting Aleppo International Airport, which led to material damage at the airport as it went out of service. There were no casualties reported. Thankfully, no civilians were injured. Israel did not take responsibility for this airstrike, but I think I could say this was probably Israel who carried this out. They're trying to strike Iranian targets in Syria. Iran has a lot of proxies there in Syria. Israel's going in to do airstrikes on Syria, on these different places there in Syria. Guys, make sure to check out Israel 365's program to feed the needy. Just click the link in the des description below. As always, make sure to subscribe, get the conversation going down below. We love to hear your comments, what you think about the show, as questions you may have. And as always, tune out the fake news and tune into what is actually happening here in the land of Israel. We'll be back every Monday through Friday with your direct connection to the land and people of Israel.